Putin ally suggests nuclear strikes on France, Germany and US. An ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin has suggested launching nuclear strikes on three members of the NATO military alliance, France, Germany and the United States, according to Newsweek. State TV host Vladimir Solovyov, one of the most prominent figures in Kremlin-backed media, floated the idea on his show Evening with Vladimir Solovyov. The Daily Beast's Julia Davis shared an excerpt of the broadcast on Friday on X. Pundits on Vladimir Solovyov's show pontificated which Western cities should be the first to be targeted with nuclear strikes. Some of their top choices, Paris, Marseille, Lyon, Hamburg, Munich or Garmitsch, Partenkirchen and the United States in general, wrote Davis. Solovyov began by railing against France shortly after French President Emmanuel Macron said there are no limits to Paris's support for Kiev. The goal of France is not just getting free resources from the territory of Russia, but the destruction of Russia, the final solution of the Russian question, he said. Why do I think that we should carry out a strike against the West? Because I can see right through them. They say Russia can't tell us how to help Ukraine. It's not for you to dictate how Russia can respond. Another guest on the show, Andrei Sidorov, Deputy Dean of World Politics at the Moscow State University, told Solovyov that the issue is not whether or not to use nuclear weapons. The issue is against whom to use them. You often talk about France or Great Britain, said Sidorov. Solovyov responded, that's right, France, Germany, Poland, Great Britain. Solovyov said he was undecided on where exactly Russia should attack with nuclear weapons. I just can't decide. Paris or Marseille? What should we destroy in Germany for their Taurus? Maybe Munich? Maybe we should have an audience vote. See which cities are they willing to spare, said Solovyov. The Putin ally added, The level of humanity's madness has reached its limits. The West won't stop at anything. We should harshly fight against it with all the forces and means at our disposal. Senior Russian officer warned conflict in Ukraine could turn into a large-scale war in Europe. A senior Russian military officer has warned that the conflict in Ukraine could escalate into a full-scale war in Europe and said the probability of Moscow's forces becoming involved in a new conflict is increasing significantly, according to Reuters. Colonel General Vladimir Zarudnitsky, head of the Russian Army's Military Academy of the General Staff, made the comments in an article for Military Thought, a defense ministry publication, the state RIA News Agency reported. The possibility of an escalation of the conflict in Ukraine from the expansion of participants in proxy forces used for military confrontation with Russia to a large-scale war in Europe cannot be ruled out. RIA cited him as saying, The main source of military threats to our state is the anti-Russian policy of the United States and its allies who are conducting a new type of hybrid war in order to weaken Russia in every possible way, limit its sovereignty and destroy its territorial integrity. He was quoted as saying, The likelihood of our state being purposefully drawn into new military conflicts is significantly increasing. Reuters recalls that the war in Ukraine has triggered the deepest crisis in Russia's relations with the West since the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis and President Vladimir Putin has warned that the West risks provoking a nuclear war if it sends troops to fight in Ukraine. Putin has cast his decision to send tens of thousands of troops into Ukraine in February 2022 as a special military operation designed to secure Russia's own security against an increasingly hostile US-backed Ukrainian leadership. Kyiv says it is defending itself against an imperial-style war of conquest designed to erase its national identity. Zarudnitsky's comments come at a time when the West is scrambling to help Ukraine with more arms and financing after Kyiv's failed counter-offensive last summer and after Russian forces regained the initiative on the battlefield. Zarudnitsky advocated a number of changes in the way Russia organizes its military and security, Ria added, including placing greater emphasis on replying on what he called friendly countries to ensure Russia's own security and consolidating the whole of Russian society around its defense needs.